Hey everyone. So while we have a video going over how to create a web API using ML.NET, in this video I'm going to show how you can create an API using gRPC. Now if you're not too familiar with gRPC, the RPC part stands for Remote Procedure Calls, and it is based on protocol buffers, which is created by Google. For more details, I have a couple of links in the description. One is an article and another one's a video, and the video pretty much helped me create uh, this video. So we're in Visual Studio here, and let's go ahead and create a new project. And in here, I can actually create a gRPC project, and I'll call it gRPC ML Net. There we go. Use .NET Core 3.1, and I'll keep everything defaults. All right, so we have our project here, and you see we have a couple of things that it gives us, some sample files here. First is the protos folder. We have a greet.proto, and this is the proto buff that it defines. And then with that, we have this greeter service that uses that proto buff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new proto buff file. I'm just going to add new item. And then I'm just going to search for proto. There we go. I call this pre prediction and for the c-sharp namespace i'm going to take off the dot protos on it so it's tied to the project and not strictly to that folder and i'm going to give it a package called prediction and the package is similar to a namespace in c-sharp where it helps prevent some naming collisions and to create a service uh, a new service i do service and i call it prediction and then here is where we define our methods that we want to use in this prediction service. And to do that, you start off with RPC and then the name of the method that you want to use. And here I'll use predict. And then you'll tell it what type of the request that you want to give into it. So I'll do housing request. And it's going to return housing reply. Now let's define the housing request and the housing reply. And to do that, you would say message and then housing request. And here is where we define kind of our properties that is going to be in on our request. It's going to be, we'll have a float. It's going to be longitude and it's going to equal to one. The reason we have to equal it to one and, and other, other numbers in the subsequent properties is that the order matters in these properties. So we'll continue here, float latitude equals two, and then I'll paste the rest of these in here. All the others are floats, and then we have our string ocean proximity. And then for our label here, in the C-sharp, we can name this label whatever name that we want to give it, and we can tell, and we can use that column name attribute to give it the name that ML.NET expects it to be. But here we can't really do that. So I'm going to say it's going to return a float and it's going to be a label. Just name it label. And we'll define the message for the housing reply. And here it's going to return a float and it's going to return that score property and set it equal to one. So this is our proto buff for our prediction service. And next we need to create a new class here in our under our services and we'll call it prediction service. And first thing we need to do, if you may have noticed in this greeter service, it inherits from this greeter base. So we have to do something similar. We do prediction. And go, and it's not finding it actually because we need to also set some properties on here. So build action needs to be protobuf compiler. And the stub classes is a ser server only. So we set those. There we go. Now it finds it. And we can do prediction base. Prediction that prediction base on it. And before I continue, let me create another folder in here. This is where I house the ML.NET model. And I'll just bring this over in here and make sure you can copy over. There we go. 
Right, and now we can start with some ml.net stuff here. So I'm going to add in ml.net NuGet package using version 1.4. And in my service here, I'm gonna create a private read-only prediction engine. And it's gonna be the housing request and housing reply. And these, we, we already set these types in our protobuf file uh, right here. And we get those for free from this prediction base. Prediction engine, I like to put an underscore in front of my private files. And I'm going to do a constructor. And then here, I'll just set a context. And then from that context, I do context.model load. So I load in my model file here. And it is in ML models housing model.zip. And I do out data view schema and call it input schema. ML model, not, not models. And then the prediction engine is going to equal context of model create prediction engine housing request and housing reply it's going to take in my model and i'm going to set that input schema from what we got up above there you go so when this service starts it's going to run this so i have an instance of my prediction engine we told the this protobuf file that we want to have a method called predict on it and to add that is we do public override and we have that predict method as an overridable method. We don't need to run the, ba uh, run the base method here. And let's bring in grpc.core. So for that, we can create a new housing reply instance here. And then we can get our prediction prediction engine that predict and set in the request. Now you notice, if you remember in the previous videos, when we created this model, we used a, a housing data class for that, kind of custom to that project that we were using. And here we're using this housing request, but this still compiles because the properties on here can pretty much match what we use to predict on. We go and we can send the response. We set the response score to the prediction score. So we get our prediction from our prediction engine and we set the score property to our response that we get from the prediction. And then we return await task that from result and our res response. I think we need to bring in, oh, I forgot to make this an async method. So this is our service right here. And now we can actually create another project and we'll do a console application here. And this is gonna be the gRPC client. All right, and from here in our client project, we can install some NuGet packages because we need some packages in order to receive that gRPC service. First thing we need is Google that protobuf. I think I'll get grpc.net.client. And finally, I need grpc.tools. And that this grpc tools item is mainly what's used for to do the compilation when we create a protobuf file. All right, so in, in our clients, I'm gonna create another file, uh, another folder called protos. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and then just paste it up in here. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a way I can link a file from another project, but I'll just copy and paste it. And then in our properties, Instead of server only, I'm going to say client only. All right, and first thing I'm going to actually do is 
set it the main method to be an async method for the gRPC I need to create a channel using gRPC channel that for address takes in a string or URL string and to get that we can right click get the properties on our server project go down to debug and here's the app URL right there so we can use that in here and from that channel we're going to create a client and it's going to be a new prediction a prediction client and set in the channel and let's actually build this real quick there we go so now that comes in and now that we have a client let's create our request that we want to send in using new housing request I'll just paste in some values here some dummy data the next we do response it's going to be equal to and we, we await on it it's going to be equal to that client that predict async and we send in that request and this response is that housing reply type that we created earlier and then from there I can write out to the console the prediction is I do response and that score and I do two string to kind of format as currency and the console dot reline to make sure it doesn't close on me when I run it now in order for the client to run the server needs to be running and we can actually do that we, we can actually run these together right clicking on our solution go to options and it says start our project. We start up multiple projects. And we need our server to actually start before the client. Now, otherwise, this is saying our client's going to start first. So we need to move this up so our server starts first before the client. And then we need to say both of these to set start. There we go. Let's see how this runs. See our server ran first. And here's our client. So service is unimplemented. You know what? I think there's one thing I forgot to do. And back in the service in the startup file here, you see this endpoint map gRPC service. Let's change it from the greeter service to the prediction service. Let's try this again. See the server is running here. There we go. Now we got our prediction. All right, so that's just kind of a quick introduction to gRPC if you haven't seen it before in .NET and also how you can use ML.NET within gRPC if you, if you need to. So thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.